Welcome, welcome. I'm so glad you've joined me today for this video. I am Kelly Pitts with createwithkelly.com and I have a blog at createwithkelly.com and also love to share my ideas and inspiration and creations on my YouTube channel. So thanks for tuning in, whether you're on my YouTube channel that's Create with Kelly Pitts or my Facebook channel that's Create with Kelly. Or if you're watching a replay, I just love to have you. You're welcome anytime. And if you want to make comments, that is awesome. I will try to keep up with them as I go on the lives. And I try to go back on the, on the replays too, but sometimes I miss those. So I'm happy to, happy to check. And if you ever have a burning question, you want to just email me, you can email me at kelly at createwithkelly.com. Just be sure and spell Kelly, K-E-L-L-E-Y. All right, today we are already on card number 12 of 20 that are in my Sweet Thoughts, Memories and More, Create with Kelly class to go. So if you aren't participating in that yet or haven't decided to do that, the link is in the video description right below the video. If you click more, it'll take you there and also list all the supplies that I used on all 20 cards. And I didn't use any dies. I didn't use any embossing folders so that I could keep it simple so that even advanced stampers who just want to make a big stack of cards and have them ready to send out because it just seems like you always need a handmade card. It just somebody special is in your life and they really would appreciate a handmade card. So this way you can build up your stash and it's really a heck of a deal. It's only $40 for 20 cards. So two bucks a card for Stampin' Up! Quality. Isn't that awesome? <laughs> Join us. Let me show you a sneak peek of all 20 cards right here. And as I said, you can go to that link below the video. If you're, if you're in the U.S., I can do the whole class kit for you. If you just want the PDF tutorial, that is 20 bucks. If you're in a different country, I can email that to you. So we'd love to have you join us on this journey and you can make them at home whenever you want. Or here in Lubbock, I have tried to do it the last Saturday of each month. I have it where you're free to create whatever you want. So if you bought this kit this month and didn't finish it at home and wanted to come here and create it on that last Saturday, you could bring all your goodies and put it together here and share with our paper crafting community. We have a wonderful group here in the Lubbock area of paper crafters who get together and really enjoy each other's company and enjoy crafting together. So would love to have y'all join me at some of the classes. You can go to my blog at createwithkelly.com. If you subscribe there, you'll get notifications about classes and all that. So we'll get started today so we can, I'm trying to work through all these video tutorials so we can be ready so y'all can make your decision by tomorrow. I'm going to place an order early Sunday morning or yeah, on the 31st. So I'll switch the camera around and we will show you how to make this kit. All right, here we go. These cards, the memories and more cards and bases come with a card base like this. We have the Calypso Coral and the matching envelope. And we also have some that are in pretty peacock with a matching envelope and they are when you fold these over, they are four and a quarter by six and a quarter. So they're larger than our normal size card base. <clears throat> Just burnish it with your bone folder. And I think well, I like this side better. We've got a piece of pecan pie that We've got the video. I mean, the this is your PDF tutorial, so it kind of gives you all the info. The pecan pie is three and a quarter by five. And we can go ahead and put that down if we want, or we could put the individual pieces on and then put it down. So either way, I think I'm going to go ahead and glue it down. Whoa, a little bit, little bit liberal with the glue. I just refilled it, so it's got, <laughs> it is plentiful. It's being generous. All right, let's get our little silicone mat out so it helps us prevent getting glue everywhere we don't want it. 
We're just centering that with an even border all the way around. And I'm not popping this up since I'm popping my paintbrush up. Okay, I think I'm going to do it this way. This is a little easier for me. And make sure y'all can see. Okay, I think that's all we're doing there. Now we have this piece that came from a card that I cut off that is, let's see, it was on card number three. And we're going to use that strip at the top. And this is about... Let's see, get me a ruler here so y'all can kind of tell, but you kind of have to look at my whole kit to see exactly where everything comes from. One by three piece that was left over from that other card. Okay. And I just stuck my finger right in that glue. Okay, we're going to put this at the very top, and that looks a little wider. Nope, it's not. Okay, we're going to do that right there. Kind of leave an even border all the way around. And then we're going to do our amazing. And normally, I would switch these so you've got some space in between, but the word wonderful was too long to put the top of the paintbrush here. So what I had to do was go ahead and do this one. And I, I do have a score line in this. If you watched a, a previous video, it was a couple of cards ago that I went and scored just that light section off on each one of these before I cut them apart. And I saw another demonstrator do that on a totally different card, but I like that little score line there. And we're going to put these over on the left because the paintbrush is going to kind of cover this up. And then I'm going to go ahead. I'm being brave here and going ahead and doing this. Normally, I would do the bottom piece first and then put these. But I am going to go ahead and be brave since I know about where those are going to come anyway. Try to even that up. And our paintbrush is going to come right up here like that. And then we have this card. This is one of the Memories and More cards that are three by four. In the kit, you get three by four cards and four by six cards. And these are wonderful for scrap scrapbooking. If any of you makers are out there and like the pocket pages, or you could use these on your regular 12 by 12. Either way you want to do it, but they're beautiful. And they coordinate with all, all the Stampin' Up! colors, of course. And we're going to take this card and cut off let me see here what my instructions say <clears throat> let's see cut off one and three quarter so that should leave two and a quarter left one and three quarter so that should be right here let's make sure let's line that up see if that looks about right yes one and three quarter for this card and then we'll be saving this card. We're going to split it and it's going to be used part of it on card 13 and part of it on card 14. So we'll set that aside for now. And that's all there is to that. Then we'll take this and place it on here. Getting these borders kind of even. See, that would have been better a little further down, but I was already gluing, so since that's brown, I don't think it matters. Pecan pie. Okay, so it would be better to go ahead and cut that first, put, put these two like I normally do, and then center those in the middle. Oh, fooey, I forgot. I forgot, I forgot, I forgot. Pull that up. We need the petal pink ribbon around here first before we glue that down. I'm going to flip that back over and get our petal pink. forgot about that <clears throat> and this petal pink ribbon is we've got a, about a five inch and a nine inch is what we would use and we'll go ahead and use seal on the side here even though we're going to glue that down just to get this centered 
And, we, and I usually always talk about layering. You have to look at your card and say, what is on the top layer? What's on the middle layer? What's on the bottom layer? Because you can't, you can't glue this layer down and this layer down and then get your ribbon on. <laughs> Got to pay attention. Okay. Now we're going to go back and glue that back down. And go ahead and put it on the ribbon also. Make sure and get our corners down and the ribbon down. Okay. Which way do I like it? That works. I think either way you glue it is just great. Okay. Then we'll have about a nine inch piece. And this petal pink comes in a combo right now. And this one I know is going on sale on the ninth, but I don't know how if it'll last until then or not. It's just a it's just a crapshoot to decide what you want to do. Depends on how badly you want it. If you want to save a little money and but it comes with the lemon lime twist ribbon also it's in the combo pack this was in the zoo crew suite in the annual catalog so we'll just tie our little bow get that hold that see if i can get that a little better ah! i'm just gonna redo it and if you want to cut yours off the roll first it's probably about nine inches now I'm going to hold that tighter in the middle. That just does not want to hold for me. Now, there we go. Now it's behaving. Twist that a little bit. Make your little ears go whichever way you want it to go. Some people do it the bunny ear way. Some people... There's just a lot of a lot of ways to tie bows, like tie your shoes or <laughs> whatever. So whatever works for you. Now, tighten that up and decide. Let me see that. I think needs to go that way too. And we'll just make a cute little bow right over here. Do you like this side better or that side better? So just make your decision there. And Get a glue dot and take your bow to the glue dot and we have one there i'm going to go ahead since i've got extra room i'm going to go ahead and do two glue dots just to make sure we keep that secure and we'll just add that right there on top of that ribbon so it looks kind of like it's tied right there and if you're afraid that's going to come undone, you can stick a glue dot, take your little take a pick tool, get another glue dot. Whoop, I missed it. <laughs> I threw it over there and just totally missed it, I guess. Or I chunked it somewhere. I don't know what happened to it. But you could kind of stick this in between, underneath your dot here. I mean, underneath your little loop, stick the dot in there and see if we can make that stay. I think you can get it in there tucked in. Now that knot can't come undone because it's got that glue dot inside of there too. So you've got one on the back and one there. So that ought to stay put. All right, now we're going to take our little paintbrush, and this is already a sticker, but we don't want it to be flat. If you want it to be flat, you could just stick it down flat right there, okay? But we want ours to be popped up, or I do. Y'all can do yours however you want. It's your card. Create it your way. And since this is our major focal point here, I really want to make sure this whole thing stays up. So we're going to cut a little bit let's just cut a little bit of this side here yeah i think i'm going to use this one this is a more of a straight side i think that's going to work we'll just peel that edge off and that's a little bit too much we'll snip that here on the end <clears throat> whoops 
Did I peel the back off of that? No, I didn't yet. Okay, so leave your backs on. And then we're going to take and use our embossing buddy to unstick or de-stick, de-stickify, <laughs> however you call that, to make the sticker not sticky anymore. Okay, so we've still got our backs on our dimensionals because so, we want that to stay sticky, but we want the rest to not be sticky. That way it'll stay popped up even after it's been in the envelope. Otherwise, those little sticky parts that are flat will just stick down to your card. All right. And we're lining this up. So that you can't see that this wonderful and amazing, that's just how long they were. I had to cut those off shorter. But it works because with the paintbrush, just like this. So it hides that the, those don't go all the way over. We can bring it down just a little, but not a lot. You got to have that. You got to watch right here. Make sure the paintbrush and flowers aren't covering up the amazing Watch and make sure it's covering up the, it's not covering the L, but it's covering up the line. <laughs> that makes sense. So it's kind of a little bit tricky there, but not hard. Okay, then we're going to use our Wink Stella. Get this paintbrush going. And I'm just kind of doing the flower centers. A little bit more on the daisy there. <clears throat> Give it a little glimmer. There we go. And I think we just need an embellishment. And these are our adhesive backed basic rhinestone sequins or something. <laughs> and of course, I used them on the last card. I've barely gotten up out of the seat. Oh, here we go. Found them. And we'll use, let's use a big one right in the center of that fl flower. Isn't that cool? Then we'll use a medium one over here. And I'm going to use a small one on this flower. And using that odd number helps your eyes to have something to go focus on. You want them to stay on there as long as you can and appreciate your efforts of this handmade card. Oh, let me check my comments. Sorry, I haven't looked at those in a minute. Hello, Kathy Roach. I'm glad you caught this. I, did, I have not seen emails. I have been doing one right after another. <laughs> so you, you've got a lot you can catch up on. This is a class that's coming up, Kathy. If you want to do this, it is $40 for 20 cards, two bucks a card. It's a heck of a deal. And I've got them all designed and I'll kit them up for you. And so that you know exactly what goes with each card out of the Memories and More Sweet Thoughts kit. It's a lot of fun. So thanks for tuning in. If anybody else has any questions or anything, let me know. And if you're watching the replay or if you're watching it live, I would love for you to share the video with your crafty friends. And I will get ready and do the next card. This is number 12 of the 20. So, <clears throat> uh, Kathy, the link is right below the video. You can go to that Google Forms and sign that up right there, RSVP for the class. And I will get that stuff ordered for you tomorrow. Yay! fun, fun. I'm glad you're going to join us. All right. It, since there are any more questions, I will let you go and start working on the next one. Y'all just stay tuned. It'll come up again in a few minutes. All right. Fun times ahead. Thanks for